YouTube Kids, a wasteland of content that ascends basic human understanding. To be successful on YouTube Kids, it's very simple. All you have to do is make very loud videos that involve superheroes or creepypasta characters, and then make them make absolutely zero sense. It works every time. And the success of this strategy can be seen through the YouTube channel Fat TV. Now, I made a video about these guys like six months ago, and they just popped into my head earlier and I figured, why not check up on what they're doing? And, well, they got worse. All of their videos are basically just like 40-year-old men dressing up as superheroes and then fighting poorly edited-in monsters. I mean, I suppose it's a nice break from the usual animated nonsense or GTA 5 gameplay that you find on these kinds of channels, but still, it's not the greatest. And, well, you're about to experience that firsthand because we're going to be watching a couple of their videos today, starting off with superheroes versus flying shark. Let's begin. Please subscribe. I hate laundry day. <laughs> what was that, Spider-Man? It was crazy flying shark. Let's kill her. <laughs> okay, so I gotta admit, this kind of made me laugh the first time I saw it. But speaking purely logistically here, I mean, come on, Spider-Man. Why would shooting webs at a shark do anything to it? This is obviously some sort of magic shark. It's flying. It's outside of the water. You're not dealing with your normal run-of-the-mill shark here. Gotta think outside the box. <laughs> Now see, this is where the immersion starts to really be ruined for me. How did he walk past this door and then on his way back have his pants off? Did this shark telepathically remove his pants? I mean, come on now. know if the fact that a bunch of 40 year old men are making videos like this for children is creepy or hilarious. You know, when I see scenes like this one, I think it's a pretty heavy mixture of both. It gets even funnier when you start to imagine that they had to film this with no shark or anything. They're just running away from nothing in an empty house, screaming as loud as they can. <laughs> My god, these are some of the worst superheroes I've ever seen. You're telling me these guys can fight Thanos and not even break a sweat, but they see a shark and lose their mind? They're not even fighting him, they're just running. Something tells me these guys aren't the real deal. I wanna play games! No, I wanna play games! Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, nope, nope. See, this is where you lose me. You're telling me this shark just face tanked absolutely eight Spider-Man's webs, Captain America's shield, Thor's hammer, and a Glock to the forehead, and then just one lousy punch from the Hulk takes him out? I don't buy it. All right, you're halfway through the gauntlet. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel, but you still have one more task to get through. I became Joker. You're not ready, but it doesn't matter because you have to be. I like how YouTube is fine with somebody smoking what is very obviously supposed to be a blunt, but having something that looks like a blunt is just way too far for their advertisers, but a smoking carrot, just fine. <laughs> You 
you know what? Usually, these videos are characterized by nothing making sense, but if my sister ignored me while I had a knife stuck in my eyeball because she was doing her makeup, I think I would probably turn into a supervillain too. I think that's fair. Seems like a normal response, gotta be honest. <laughs> I need the medicine. Hmm. This, uh, this frame reminds me of somebody. Can't quite put my finger on it. Don't worry, my brother. I will get you a drink. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Gotta give credit where credit is due. The acting as a whole is, you know, pretty horrible, but that laugh? That was a genuinely impressive Joker laugh. Get this man into voice acting. <laughs> Buddy, I was on your side at first. Sure, you, you've been mistreated, but throwing makeup brushes into your sister's skull and then laughing and dancing over her lifeless body, uh, I don't know if that is the best method of conflict resolution. I feel like you could have solved this in a better way. My sweet, sweet mother. Okay, yeah, that that's also a, a pretty heinous crime. Maybe you could have opted to try and get your mother some help with her drinking instead of, you know, stabbing her repeatedly. Just my two cents. <laughs> You know, for a good 45 seconds here, I forgot that this was a kid's channel, oh my god. I mean, I know children are exposed to violence on TV, but this is, this is taking it a bit too far, don't you think, buddy? At least he's self-aware, because the description for this video is what a nice video to watch with family. Well, I was gonna watch a third, but after seeing that one, I'm a bit worried about what we might see if we continue, so uh, I'm gonna call it there. If there are any parents of young children watching this, this is what your kids see on YouTube. You do with that information what you will. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.